Hey guys, my name is Bria um, of Bria Evenson Fitness. I am a mom of two and a, an online fitness and healthy living coach um, with Beachbody. And I am super passionate about what I do. Um, and I'm really excited to have you in this group. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about, just share my story. And today I really just wanna cover what we do as coaches, how we help people, what, what, yeah, what a coach does. And then tomorrow I'm going to talk more about how we do it, how we use social media tools to reach and connect with people and help them live healthier and more fulfilling lives. And then finally, I'm going to talk to you, um, on our final day about how to actually get started as a coach, how it works with training, what the first steps are, if it costs anything to sign up as a coach, that kind of thing. But as I said today, I just want to tell you a little bit about me, what got me started and what coaching is all about, what we do, so that you understand if, to begin with, if this is something you'd even be interested in. Um, because although I think that anyone has the ability to be a coach, there are a couple things that I think are really critical in being a successful one. Um, so I've been a coach now for three, a little over three years, and before I became a coach, I was, um, I had two kids at the time. I still have two kids. <laughs> Tessa, my daughter is almost eight now. My son is five. But even before I became a coach, um, for a lot of years, I struggled with bad body image issues. Um, really bad. It, they're embarrassing even for me to talk about it, you know, so it's, it's, it's an emotional thing. I, I've known my whole life that weight loss is, and feeling good in your body can really get inside your head, especially as a woman. That's all I can really speak from. Um, that it, it can really do a lot of damage if you're not in a good place and you're not making healthy decisions. And I was that person. I was not eating, eating too much, eating the wrong things, always berating myself, never feeling good in who I was or, or never really knowing what to do. So after I had my second son, I used to, uh, second child, I used to always go back to running. That was how I lost weight. And it was, just wasn't happening. I, I didn't have the time, I didn't have the energy. And I remember training for a half marathon and, and I was really proud. I trained hard. You know, it took a lot of energy, a lot of effort. I had two kids. My husband travels a lot. So it was a big ask on all of us for me to train for this half. And you know what? I had the best time in that half marathon I'd ever had. But at the end of it, I looked at my body and, and I, it hadn't really changed. And I felt, I felt so disappointed and so frustrated. And I remember thinking, how many miles am I going to have to run? How many like in order to, in order to feel better in my body, in order for my body to change a little bit. Um, and that was when I knew that I had to do something different. And I'd heard about a program called P90X and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this program. I can do this. I can commit to this for 90 days. And I did, I dove in and you know what I was amazed by, by four weeks in, my body had already changed more than I had ever seen it change in its life besides pregnancy, of course. Um, and I felt incredible. Uh, and it was that moment where I knew I had to keep going. I really had to finish these 90 days and it wasn't easy. I used to Google YouTube videos of women in my age bracket to see their transformation, to keep myself motivated. Um, and that was huge because that was how I found my coach. That was how I learned about the whole coaching opportunity, seeing other people sharing their transformations, sharing the way they lived their healthy life, not so that it took over their life, but that it was just a part of their life and enhanced their life. I had never before that moment felt comfortable in my skin for as long as I, certainly as long as I'd been an adult. And I knew I couldn't let that go. So at the end of that challenge, I decided I want to do this too. And I connected with my coach and I signed up to be a coach and I dove into a challenge group because I wanted to take my, my, um, I wanted to take my transformation further. And I picked up a program called Insanity and I picked up Shakeology because I'd been still really struggling with my energy levels and my nutrition and my anemia. And in 30 days, I couldn't believe how much, even how much better I felt after that. And that was when I, I absolutely decided I have to do this coaching thing. I really need to sh pay forward this feeling that I was having. I was so rooted in how I felt about how amazing and freeing it felt to, to have a transformation that I had to just keep going. Um, 
So when we moved, I was living in the US at the time when we moved back to Canada, I decided I'm, I'm going all in on this. And that was when I started sharing my transformation. I started sharing with people what I was doing and started running what we call challenge groups. And that's the most effective thing I do and that we do as coaches. We use challenge groups as a way to put people together with their program, their nutrition and support, which is what the challenge group is. And we help them start their program and we help them get through their program and we help them get the transformation that they want. And we coach them through those hard sticking points. That's what we do. And we do it because we, we use tools that we know as coaches have worked and that we believe in and we know will help them as well. So that's really what we do as coaches. Um, and in, in specifics, like the specific actions that I do every single day as a coach, besides coaching my challengers and helping them achieve their goals, of course, because everyone's goals are different. Um, but the specific things I do as a coach are one, be a product of the product. I am always making sure that I am focused on my journey, that I am living healthy inside and out. Um, so this keeps me accountable, which is really great. But every day I'm doing my workout, well, five or six days a week, depending on the program I'm doing. Every day I'm working towards eating a healthy balanced diet. And, and every day I'm working towards drinking and making sure I'm drinking my Shakeology and getting dense nutrition in my body every single day. That's something I do every day as a coach and that you would, a successful coach would need to do. And I share that. I share that that's a part of my life, not all of my life, but that those three things happen in my life no matter what every single day. The second thing is personal development. And this is something that is really critical because we're always changing and growing. And if I want to be better, I have to feed my mind. I have to make sure that I'm working on the skills that I'm working on bettering the skills I'm already good at and I'm working on improving the ones that I'm not great at. Um, so that I'm always learning, but even more than that, I'm, I'm just a person. So I hit moments in my life where, um, as a coach and all coaches do where I'm feeling low and I don't have a lot of energy. So fueling my brain with some type of personal development through audio or a book, even just 10 to 20 minutes a day, it's huge for me. It keeps me positive and happy and going. Okay, the next thing that I always make sure to do every single day as a coach that we all need to make sure to do is connect. Um, this is about people helping people. So it's so important that I'm reaching out and connecting, not to sell them beach body, not to sell them, tell them they need to be in my challenge groups, but to just connect and be, be a friend to another person. So every single day I'm making sure that I'm reaching out and just reconnecting, catching up with old friends, um, meeting new people everywhere I go. Those are things that I make sure I do every single day and I put a number to it and that's what makes it a business is that I put a number to it and I track it. Um, but getting out and connecting with people is, is a huge part of what we do. And then the fourth thing that we always make sure to do is recognize. I'm making sure that I'm recognizing the people in my challenge and, and, and the transformation they're having, even if it's one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes it's publicly. I'm recognizing the coaches that join my team in their successes as well. And I'm recognizing myself in the journey that I'm taking and, and how I'm growing. That's what coaches do. That's what we do is we help people live healthier and fulfilling lives. We do that through running challenge groups, online challenge groups. We help them find the right program for them. We help them through the hard parts of that program to get the results that they want. Um, and then and these are the specific tasks that we do every day, what we like to call the four vital behaviors, being a product of the product, reading personal development or fueling with personal development. I like to say connecting with other people and, um, recognizing, recognizing yourself for your growth and recognizing other people. That's it. That's what we do. Um, so that's all for today. I'd love to hear from you. If what you think of those four vital behaviors would be the most challenging thing for you. If you think living a healthy life is something that you love because I can teach you the skills around connecting with people and, and marketing with people. You have to do the work, of course, but when you join my team, I get to teach you all the systems that have helped me be as successful as I am today. Those are just things I can teach you. I can't teach you is your desire to live a healthy life and live this lifestyle day after day. And I can't teach you to have a passion for helping other people. It's just not something you can teach someone that has to come from you. You have to care about helping other people because so much so that you would do it for free because it's something that you love to do. Okay. I'm going to leave you with that today. Cause as I said, I'd love to hear from you about, about your thoughts on that. That's a bit about my story and what's brought me here. And I'll just end by saying this has actually changed my life. Not only was I lost in terms of my body, but I, you know, 
I didn't know, I knew I wanted to do something with my life. You know, I went to university, have a degree in philosophy, <laughs> didn't do anything with it. You know, I'd worked in, in management and sales management um, and that was all fine, but nothing was fulfilling to me. And then after I had kids, it was like blew everything out of the water for me. My whole life changed. I wanted something for me, but I still wanted to be there for them. And I just didn't know where my direction was. That's what this answered for me. It gave me the direction I needed, the fulfillment that I needed and the thing for me that, the vehicle to live the healthy life that I wanted to live and that I needed to live. Tomorrow, as I said, I'll talk more about how to use social media as a tool and what specifically I do to, to help reach out and connect with people. Um, and then of course the last day we'll talk more about how we earn money and what it, how to become a coach, what your first steps are. But that's what I want to leave you with today. Please post your questions down below. That's what I'm here for or message me personally. I really want to just help you decide whether this is the right thing for you or answer the questions that you have. Have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye.